हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द सेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट नोट जे एस एंड रियाक्ट जे एस इंटर कनेक्शन मीन्स द कनेक्शन विद द नेविगेशन पर्पज ऑल्सो मीन्स लाइक वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज नथिंग जस्ट वी विल क्रिएट वन फोल्डर आई विल लेट यू नो वन सेकेंड क्रिएट न्यू फोल्डर एज मन ओके Let's open this in the browser. Sorry, in VS Code. In desktop. Mon. Open. So here we will do one front end, back end application, small application like connection between those two, so that in this uh, session you will get an idea. of the front end back end how it is working and also along with that we will do routing part in server side along with the client side so in react js we have learned about routing part in the client side so we will connect it how it's uh, changing in the server side along with that so let's go dig dive into thing so first of all i will create two things like back end for node js and another folder front end for this one so let me create node and react so cd front end so what is the command for to create react npx create react app routing underscore react let's create like this um, no need of capital routing underscore so at that time it will create it so parallelly let's create uh, the backend so for backend let's go with cd dot dot will go back and cd backend first of all to create server and connection we have to do install express which is an mer in mern in that express only npm install express express is a framework on the node js nothing we will everything syntax programmatical what we have done everything will be the same only just we will include that express inside that that's it so let's create a folder so here you can see express js yes. package dot json of the backend with express module and node modules with an express so let's create one server file server dot js okay so this is a server dot js uh, let react installation is done so before that we can create every time make sure you have to from front end to back end you have to first do it from back end to front end so in project real life, real time scenario real world you have to create first server and create the apis and test it in the one tool which will have the postman or insemin or anything i will tell you in the project and um once testing it everything is success and integrating with the db and everything is working fine then we will use that apis to integrate with the front end that's how the process will be done so first of all let's create a server where we are we will be creating small application just a connection that's it nothing more than that so let's connect express equal to require express so next we need a constant path require the same process nothing we have done uh, this right server creation that is the only we are doing it here nothing just i am using the same thing but from starting so that to avoid confusion so i am using express as a constant app and constant port where we will connect the ring we'll use 5002 not 2 let's use 6000 okay so now what will use app dot use so that what will use express dot static so that what are the static files coming from the path 
dot join so that the friending uh, front end part it will be coming and it will be like underscore director name where it's uh, the build director name from coming from the front end it will build the file building nothing but component we are creating different different right app.js in here yours in sr app.css home.css about.css all this will be coming into one index.css and that is called will be using with the help of build that is what you are using here means before running the server we are making it files uh, files uh, like uh, serve the all the static files from the react so let me tell you so static files from the react app so that to avoid confusion so we will do all this in the same uh, like in a real project in the next class but now let's uh, catch all handlers what we are having everything we are using it means the routes we will use right in the front end that we are using it catch with the star means all it will catch where here we will use response request sorry here is a response and request and arrow function inside that arrow function we write response dot send file where the sign file will send the path of what we are using dot join director name comma build so it's building that complete building means nothing compressing all the things how file will compress all the things into one thing like all files into small thing like that here have everything component where finally the browser will take only index.html right that's what we are doing nothing more than that uh, in file the browser will read only index.html but we here we don't have the index.html at all so here we are creating a send file in the index.html which is directing the path so after that what you will do like once it's everything is done we will app.lizen which is a port where port console.port and this is the thing so here we are sending app.json and everything is working fine so now once we can test it like node server.js in come see app server port running uh, with 6000 so it's running so let's stop the server for now and uh, let's concentrate on the front end so this is the back end connection which will we do for now running the port so once back end is done we can go to the front end and in the app dot i will create one components folder components and inside that components i will add home dot js and about dot js so let's create first uh, here in react front end so for that we have to do home.js import react from react then after that rfc so what we are using home okay that's it let's copy this and paste it here with about just i'm showing the devs nothing more than that i don't want to waste time here so everything these are all these things we have learned in previously in the react class just we are integrating the front end and back end so now i got it now i'll go to app.js and i'll function in, in the return let's close the terminal once and here to here return i know need of these things okay now i will import all the integrate all the functions in the app.js so import 
react from react so we have reacted importing then we have to import react router dom we are using router right so we have to use router dom router is router route link routes from oh first we have to install react router dom so let's go npm react router dom so once we got it we have to check whether it's installed first we will check in the package.json i think no only route dom, react dom is installed so i will install the this one also once installation done we can see in the package.json so once close it and open it again we can see where is that react on? i think it's already there okay it's up to date okay it's already there so now let's go with react even react i found out a dom yeah it's there so once uh, it's a dom we are getting it now importing the home importing home from dot slash component slash home same like that import a word from dot slash component slash a word okay now we will integrate those in this so again same router inside the router we will use div inside the div we will use now for navigation purpose and after that you will tag and inside the you will tag i will use li tag and link and link okay so everything is done now once everything is done we have to create hr like how we will do normally previously how we have done like that and i will create hr tag and now inside the routes this is the issue we have faced previously so we will follow it the process so exact means if i for example if i have slash about and slash about page two things the router dom will confuse like about about we have what we have to do with this clicking on this so at that time you will use exact keyword where it will check for complete routing path then it will go ahead so exact path now equal to what they have given for a home page it's a forward slash component equal to home home and closing copy this paste it i think everything is fine and now we have to link the front end it's a routing path and back end we have server to link it we have to go for package.json and write in the scripts of proxy where proxy means it will go in this server for this for now where in the proxy we have to write http oh sorry it should be string http forwards uh, semicolon forwardless local host with a server port of 6000 which is backend okay so this is the proxy server we will use for now let's start the server 
so node server server is running so i'll keep it it nls clear npm start oh start script is there right yeah uh, where we are ls package.json and we have the start script and now we have to go with npm start only missing script of start this is the script of start right or else anything is there we have missed let's check mm, let's check here in google uh, what is the mixing script of start but we have given the start mixing it's a default coming from backend so Initial installing data for the this line help me resolve the issue. NPM remove FNG create right up, NPM install FNG create right up, NPM create right up my app. Okay, maybe the issue which we are using. Let's follow this one cd slash dot dot. NPM start. So npm run okay now let's go with the process let's keep a copy for better thing control a control c notes I'll use one note. This is in app.js. So I don't want to waste time here. So again, for not in components about. Okay, now let's follow the process sometimes it will react installation some uh, whenever we are giving it it will get it so, means like uh, for example here we are missing the script so react script let's start with npm start missing the start script even though we have the start script it's showing missing for example if i comment it and go ahead with it no that is not a it won't happen that is not the issue so let's do one thing uh, let's delete it and we will move it to the trash and restart it front end so clear so install react app we'll use the perfect thing so installation see npx create right time we'll use my react app same folder uh, operation not permitted So it's saying operation is not permitted here. Why? Is there any port running on the 3000? Let me check. HTTP forward slash local host 3000. No, nothing is working. So this should work. 
but something is getting clear mm. let's for now let's close the server so exit let's terminate this one maybe some terminal issue cd front end yeah that is the terminal issue so let's wait for uh, till it's created so that uh, we can meanwhile we can discuss about remaining things so you got an idea right uh, what is front end and what is the back end and everything man stack and everything so here what we are doing in this session just connecting with the front end and back end with the proxy of localhost 6000 then we will uh, do the routing from the front end it will reflect in the back end that's what will happen nothing will change that uh, connection in the next class we will go with a major project where we will do the crud operations which is http request uh, what we are doing it in the core modules i have told you right so we will go ahead with that and after that http means like crud operations what is crud uh, how is the process and everything i will explain you in the next session okay let's wait until this uh, is uh, installed after that we'll go ahead uh, with the again copying the code and pasting there and we can check it i will stop the session once it started i will reinstall we restart the session okay so friends welcome back so here um, there is a nothing issue that's a terminal issue so i have added the about js again and home dot js and uh, app dot js is from this copied file then i have run the script and it's working fine and i will write a node server dot js oh sorry it's a we have to go to back end so cd back node server dot js so its server is connected and everything is done now we'll go with the proxy one second okay now let's go to the proxy proxy here http local host 6000 yeah that's it we are doing so this is how it will be connected so keep it here i know not this stuff let me delete it so this is what react js component so once you routing it as you can see here down it's getting routed about it and everything or as you can see in the network tab see so this is how it's happen like a knows and it's the op character of being sorry uh, that is how it will happen react proxy server and routing connection path So I hope you understand what is the connection with and how we are using the connection of React with this one. So next we will go with the major project where we will learn about in detail uh, about how we are going to integrate the CRUD operations and everything. Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you.